I'm going to change course completely to that. What else, is, what else is there to do? Um, I have a, a new album out that um, uh, Gretchen uh, sang on and, uh, and Barry played some pe piano on it as well. And uh, I'll do a tune off of that. This one is... Uh, it's a co-write, actually. The album's called Fathers and Sons, and I, I put it out on Father's Day, and it's all songs kind of concerning the, the male relationship within the, the family. And um, this is a song that uh, I've got two boys, one's now nine and one's 11, so naturally there's songs about them and grandfathers and my father. And, and uh, this is one that's actually co-written by my, my youngest boy. When he was four, uh, we were living in New York, and he was very creative. He's always thinking of great song titles all the time. He'd come home with these song titles that were just, I was just thinking, oh, that's a song. He, had, he came home with one that was, um, Everywhere is Over There. I was like, of course it is. Let's, just, let's go. Let's do it. It's just like, you know. He's always been kind of a mystic kid. Yeah. yeah. He had another one called uh, Love Attack. You know, which I thought was good. Steve Seskin pointed out that had he been a lot older, that song would have had a whole different meaning. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, luckily, at his age, you don't really have to share the royalties with him. <laughs> so he came home one day with his song titled, uh, The Beautiful Princess of Never Come True. And I was like, well, okay. That, that's not a kid's song, and it has to be written. I was like Googling it, and I was asking his daycare people, I'm like, are you guys like playing some song called Beautiful Princess Never Come True? That, you know, I couldn't find it anywhere. I thought, oh, okay. So I set about to, to writing this tune, and, uh, and I went ahead. I actually wrote a, wrote a song, and I don't know. It just turned out a little bit cliche, and I just didn't really care for it too much. I sort of set it aside. And we moved out to California uh, a few years ago now. And when we came, we're just south of San Francisco on the coast, and we started this new elementary school. And the elementary school needed a new talent show director, and they saw me coming a mile away. <laughs> the guy who had just done it for six years had left. And here I was with a kindergartner and a third grader. They thought, if we get him, we get another six years <laughs> talent show director. So. Uh, I'm well into it now, and it's fantastic. And that that first year, my son Aaron uh, was gonna was gonna perform. Both my kids sang, and I was playing guitar for for Aaron. And we're talking about the show the night before, and uh, he started talking about what he wanted to wear, you know, to the talent show. And it's a big event at the school, and he's like, "Well, I I really want to wear my dress, you know." And he likes pretty things and tough things too. His his favorite color is rainbow. <laughs> Keeps his options open. That's good call. And no, yeah. And so we, his mom and I, we had a talk with him, and we just said, you know, you're welcome to wear whatever you want. And, you know, if you want to do the dress thing and do it up on stage, that's totally cool. Um, there are going to be some people that probably do not understand, and you know, you might get hassled. You might get some kids teasing you, and he's like, no problem. And uh, so. He got up there, he sang this uh, kid's tune by Lori Berkner and just slayed it. I had grown men weeping and stuff. And he, he slowed down the tempo and was super emotive. I was like, that's my boy, standing there in his dress. It was, it was, that's my boy. Right. But then it was then that I realized that go oh, the beautiful princess of never come true is not like some fictional person. It's him, you know. So after that the song kind of wrote itself and here it is. And he's got painted nails and he says 
Why does everybody tell me what I can't do? And then he just sighs and says, I guess I'll be a beautiful princess of never come true. Some people try to put him down. Says held high and he stands his ground. He's strong, he's wise, and he's pretty too. He's got a lesson for me and you, cause he likes both Lego planes and ladybugs. His stalls ride trains and he gives big bear hugs. Boy things, girl things, all he sees. Or she's any sense. Why should anybody tell me what I can't do? And he can't deny that he'll always be the beautiful princess of never come true. Never come true. A beautiful princess of never come true. When her only parents finally will stop by pretending that we don't look down in judgment. himself in the prettiest things then why should he have to fight a very old point of view and be the beautiful princess of never come true Open. 